Hi, so I'm going to talk to you a bit about the task analysis. This is something that students can sometimes find a bit tricky because it's quite a broad, sort of open-ended task and sometimes students get this confused with product analysis. So the main difference is a task analysis is you're looking at things in a general term. So your task you've been set is designed for teenage lifestyle. So you're trying to break that down into all the little bits or permutations of, of what that could mean, what you could develop, you know, the issues you could be solving, the problems you could be looking out for. Uh, as a product analysis, you, you find someone's product, you uh, analyze it and understand why they've done what they've done and learn about the good things and bad things and apply that to your own design work. But let's focus on this um, task analysis. So design for teenage lifestyle, this is something obviously you'll have more expertise in than me, obviously being teenagers. So uh, if what I write here looks a bit silly, um, just uh, just make sure that you uh, you do stuff that's more re relevant when you do yours. So the first thing I've done is I've put a little central bubble in there, a bit of colour and sort of uh, a, bit, a bit of sort of uh, visual interest really helps with these sorts of things. It won't get you any more marks, but it, it will help sort of show your thinking uh, in, in a sort of more organised way. So the first thing we'll, we'll talk about is just teenagers in general. So um, we'll pop over here in this corner, teenagers. And obviously, you know, you know a, a, a lot more about uh, yourself and your peers than I do. Um, but I'll have a little guess at some stuff here. And if it looks totally bonkers, we'll just make sure that yours is, is better. So um, first thing we could do is have interests here. Um, now, I'm sure you'll have a, a wide range of different interests. And I'm just going to go for some sort of generic, obvious stuff here. So uh, first thing uh, is, you know, you know, kids like their gaming. Um, you know, social media. Um, let's have another thing. Sport. Um, you know, reading. Music. And so on and so on. And obviously you'll have a better handle on, on the interests of, of your generation. So those sorts of things. Now to get the best marks, you might want to do a little bit more in depth. You might want to tell me what sort of gaming does that entail? Is that mobile game or console or PC? And what, who, who does that apply to more boys or girls or, or what have you? If you want to justify things, that's what's going to get you the, the top marks. You know, other things you could think about is, you know, fashion and style. Um, that's very important to uh, lots of young people. And it could be about, you know, the latest trainers or, you know, makeup or whatever it might be. Um, so you could look into that and just get a bit of better understanding of, of that there. So there's another little thing. Um, and then uh, you could think about, um, oh, I don't know, sort of social groups uh, or, or sort of that sort of thing. So, um, you know, lots of people are into sort of different sort of, you know, cultures or what have you. You could have, you know, I don't know, yeah, e-boy girls there. Um, I don't know, people in your sort of uh, urban culture, you can have people who are sort of, I don't know, scenesters or whatever. So, you know, you, you'll you know more about this than myself, as I keep saying. Um, there we go. And so on and so on. So what we're trying to do is trying to break down what it is to be a teenager for someone who isn't a teenager so they can understand it. So if you were describing to me what it's like for you to be a young person in Great Britain today. Uh, this is what I want to see on here. Other things you could think about is products that young people interact with uh, and purchase. So, you know, you could think about um, brands that are very popular, um, you know, products, you know, so Apple, Samsung or whatever, who goes for them, why are they popular, you know, other products, you know, like tablets and, you know, uh, stuff like that. You could think about other subscription services, you know, Netflix, YouTube, those sorts of things. Um, uh, and then, you know, you could think about foods or restaurants or whatever. So we're just trying to um, build up a sort of bigger picture of, of what it is that young people are interested in and where they're coming from so we can understand them better and design better products for them. Um, the next thing that we're going to look at is uh, 
perhaps the problems that young people face. So, so what are the problems that uh, need solving? It could be stress from school. Um, it could be to do with uh, social issues and interaction. Um, it could be about organisation. You know, getting enough sleep. Um, it could be, you know, looking after your technology. A typo there. Um, and, and so on and so on. So, uh, you know, you'll have to identify what are the sort of things in a student's everyday life could be, uh, could be solved through design. What could you design and manufacture that would make their lives easier or uh, less stress-free or whatever? And there's other things. It's the bigger issues that um, uh, young people uh, grapple with in, in this day and age. So I know lots of people are concerned about sustainability um, and their sort of place Uh, in the future, you know, there's thing, issues with social justice. Um, so there's issues, especially at the moment, with Black Lives Matter. There's issues with globalisation. So there's lots of different things going on. Uh, and then there's people worried about, you know, opportunities in the future. What um, is going to happen when you get into the job market or, or what have you, qualifications, those sorts of things. So there's all these wide issues and, and the whole point of this task is, is you're trying to break down um, what it is a teenager does, what they interact with, what they buy, what they're interested in. Um, and the, the reason you're doing this is to get a better understanding of them and describe it to the person looking at your folio so that you're trying to pinpoint, okay, teenagers find this thing difficult in their lives, I can design a product that will make that easier for them. So have a go at this, obviously, this is a little quick, rough one that I've done here. The last thing I would add is, you know, doing some sort of interesting arrows and, and sort of making it look visually interesting does really help um, sort of keep it organized and let you see what's going on. And just try and do as much as you can think of. And, you know, you're the experts on this, so you should be able to do something really, really good, and you're just trying to fill this page with all the different things you could think of that affect teenagers, all the problems you could solve, everything you know about yourself and your peers, and trying to find a niche or a USP for a product in the future, and that's what we're going to start researching next. So have a good go at that, uh, and uh, good luck.